Merry Christmas to all of you awesome people. I hope that you're having an awesome day. Right, today we are adventuring out to a place called Coppice Pit. It opened in 1842 and it closed in 1908. And I am really, really interested to see if there's any evidence left of it there. I did a live um, video on my uh, Facebook page. I came across these sort of, oh, I don't know what you call them, square blocks of looks like concrete. See now this one has got some screw, so it's like the thread holes right there. You can see those little thread holes. And then you've got another one that's over here. I don't see anywhere where there's any writing on these either. But what a strange place dump you know three you got one two and the third one there three of them strange absolutely weird place all right guys i've just looked on my phone and according to the map i'm not that far from it just came across this billboard of this area i i am so intrigued on this on this information here but what i'm more fascinated is exactly that's where we are here apparently just there and that's where we're going today and it makes me think oh look at all these other areas that we could possibly go but you know it just gives you a bit of a perspective on you know how much stuff could be buried under all of this everything you see here is friggin slippery and muddy here guys Let's just say I hope I get home in, uh, woo, one piece. Interesting, a brick. Definitely a brick. Could I be on the right path? Wait. Strange. Look, you got some. That's like concrete slabs there. That's metal wire. It's metal. It looks like that was like a metal post, um, a concrete post with metal inside. You got some more around here. We've actually got a little bit of a walk section there. If you can see that. Guys, I think I might actually be closer than I thought. Right, see if I get down there. Can I get down there? We will get down there. Right, what have we got going on here? Ooh, what's that? Oh, some more metal wires there. That's like, it looks like a concrete forge sort of arch. Oh God, there you go. All right, I've found some more blocks over here. Oh, oh, some sort of a block there. Freaking barbed wire there, guys. There you go, have a look at that barbed wire there. So you come up here, and these were the blocks I was just talking about. Um, uh, bricks, not blocks, sorry. I actually got a name on it, what's that say? What's it say? What's it actually say? Uh, I can't quite... B H S... No, B H B S something? Uh, I see some more blocks, guys. I keep calling it blocks, I mean bricks. Bricks. I see more bricks up here. I see a wall. 
remnants of we got some here. Interesting. That looks like some sort of a, a drainage of sort, pipe work there. Look at the end on that. This looks like a huge like mound. It goes literally around like that. That's a huge area there. But there's nothing on this side. And all this side is trees. I haven't seen any blocks over here whilst I've had a little look around in actually I don't know what's in that area. Let's have a look over there. See, I'm saying that this here could be the entrance to the mine. Because how I don't know. Would you have came I wouldn't know how you would have came in here by track. Maybe by that area that might have been leveled up a bit, I don't know, but I got a funny feeling this was the entrance to the mine. Now I'm more intrigued to know what is up on this bit of a hill because we came in from that direction over there we've gone over that direction we've looked around this bit here we've had a look about this bit but I'm really intrigued to see what is up here on this very steep and slippery oh, hill and for what I can see is literally you've got bumps all the way around there excuse the wind is getting a little windy here you've got bumps of ground over here I've I can't see really too much over here. Let's have a little, little look. See, uh, we got one random um, brick there. I'm not too sure, but just had a look in the distance to the location where we were just then. And I'm looking over here. Now, can you see what I can see? Right, what we got here? Can I? So, there's writing on these ones but I can't make out what it says something tun looks like it might say collieries tun collieries apparently up to now let's come over here oh here we go we've got one that says collieries there so let's see if we can find any oh ah I believe it says Bree tun collieries on it there's a B there. I swear that's a B, R and E, something, and then turn at the end, and that's collieries. Look at that, guys. We have not only found a wall, we found a name on the wall. I don't know what you would call this. Uh, a twig wall, I suppose. This must have been a building, because... Is that a wall? Is that another wall that goes... So you've got a big wall there, but you've got this here. I'll just get... um. Get a, uh, a twig or something. That, that's a wall. It's like a wall that goes in some sort of a, a triangle. Strange. So I thought, do you know what? How fitting is it to have a nice relaxing break, taking in this beautiful scenery with my main man Elf and having a coffee? You know, it could not get any better than this, guys. So, uh, Merry Christmas. I'm a bit complex, guys. Because I think where I am now, this might have been the pit hole there all right because why would you have a building or some sort of form of a building here that far away from a pit now it makes more sense why the land has been left the way it has considering if you look at this picture here you've got looks like a, a, a track that goes through here which i believe that's that level land and if you look to here, we got some buildings, and I believe these buildings here is where we're currently stood. By we're looking in this direction over here, where I thought the mine entrance was, it is, looks like it was an actual building in that area there. So I thought, do you know what? Let's have a look around this area, see, you know, if there is any remnants of anything over here. There's a branch that is broken off on a tree there. It's left it, and it goes onto this tree. Then you got this branch that goes across onto that tree. It's like it's all been sort of mother's nature of knitting the landscape together. Anytime I go on one of these adventures, and this is no word of a lie, guys, I can go right. I want to go and look in that area, but I'm like, what's over there? What's the purpose of this? And then it just drives me insane, and I'm like, literally, I go off track. So so quite easily you know it's like shiny very slidey slidey one of these days i'm gonna lose my shoes oh what have we found here look at this 
found that and this slab. What's this all about? Look at that. Is that metal as well there? That is metal there guys. That's that's uh, concrete and that's metal there. Just look at that. I don't think that's covering anything up. Or could it be? I'm not too sure what, what that purpose of leaving that like that is. That makes more sense. Right, that bit of concrete is actually covering up what was an old shaft there to make it obviously safer. To be truthfully honest, I'm more shocked how many bricks there was like just left dumped and not reused to help, I don't know, local, uh, like a new build or something. It's kind of upsetting in a sense the reason why this um, pit, mine, whatever you want to call it, shut. You know, a few people lost their lives, you know, God rest their souls. But, you know, in current day, it's really kind of eerie to think about this land was hustling, bustling with people coming and going. You know, just over like 120 years ago, it's really strange to look at it now. And it's just, it feels so derelict. It feels so left. It feels abandoned. It feels like, you know, a bit of history just there and not, you know, discovered by a lot of people. Or not probably not even known by a lot of people. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, that's all I've got for you today. So I want to say thank you ever so much for coming back. And again, Merry Christmas, and I hope that you're having a great day. But um, I've got to go now because the sun is now starting to set and it's getting a little bit cold. So again, I want to say thank you ever so much for coming back. And always remember to stay positive and screw those negatives. And I'll see you on the next video. Alright, bye-zy-bye.